everyone. Thank you for coming into our collective worship this morning so beautifully. Thank you for playing our beautiful rainbow music this morning, Mr. Revel, as well. So we thought it would be a great idea to do a collective worship for our children who are still working really hard at home. Usually, I would read a story, and we'll come on to that in a minute. But let's say our very important words. Jesus is the light of the world. Represent the Holy Trinity lit this morning. So, the story I think we should read this morning is The Rainbow Fish. And I've chosen it because not only are rainbows very important to us all at the moment, but this story has got different Christian values in. And I would like you to tell me at the end which Christian values you think this story reminds us of. Now, the other thing you know that I normally do in my collective worships is ask the children to come and help me with the story. But our children here this morning are working very hard in their bubbles. Are you up for helping me this morning, everyone? Yes, please, Mrs. Moore. Oh, Mr. Rebel, that's <laughs> Mrs. Moore enthusiasm. You've got the wow factor this morning, Mr. Rebel. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Mrs. Buttress, do you think you could narrate I'm the story looking. for us on our story chair? I've got a good part for you, Mrs. Jordan. Would you like to be our starfish? <laughs> Mr. Bellamy, it's got to be you. Would you be our rainbow fish this morning? Yes. And Mrs. Orm, oh, would you like to be Mrs. Bradley and Mr. Revel, would you like to come and be little fish with me? Perfect. Mrs. Buttress, I think we're ready for the story. The Rainbow Fish. A long way out in a deep blue sea, there lived a fish. Not just an ordinary fish, but the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. His scales were every shade of blue and green and purple, with sparkling silver scales among them. The other fish were amazed at his beauty. They called him Rainbow Fish. Come on, Rainbow Fish, they would call. Come and play with us. But the Rainbow Fish would just glide past, proud and silent, letting his scales shimmer. One day, a little blue fish followed after him. Rainbow fish, he called, wait for me. Please give me one of your shiny scales. They are so wonderful and you have so many. You want me to give you one of my special scales? Who do you think you are? cried the rainbow fish. Get away from me. Shocked, the little blue fish swam away. He was so upset, he told all his friends what had happened. From then on, no one would have anything to do with the rainbow fish. They turned away when he swam by. What good were the dazzling, shimmering scales with no one to admire them? Now he was the loneliest fish in the entire ocean. One day, he poured out his troubles to the starfish. I really am beautiful. Why doesn't anyone like me? I can't answer that for you, said the starfish. But if you go beyond the coral reef to a deep, dark cave, you will find the wise octopus. And maybe she can help you. The rainbow fish found the cave. It was very dark inside and he couldn't see anything. Then suddenly two eyes caught him. 
him in their glare, and the octopus emerged from the darkness. I have been waiting for you, said the octopus with a deep voice. The waves have told me your story, and this is my advice. Give a glittering scale to each of the other fish. You will no longer be the most beautiful fish in the sea, but you will discover how to be happy. But I can't, the rainbow fish started to say, but the octopus had already disappeared into a cloud of dark ink. Give away my scales, my beautiful shining scales, how could I ever be happy without them? Suddenly, he felt the light touch of a fin. The little blue fish was back. Rainbow fish, please don't be angry. I just want one little scale. The rainbow fish wavered. Only one very, very small shimmery scale, he thought. Well, maybe I wouldn't miss just one. Carefully, the rainbow fish pulled out the smallest scale and gave it to the little fish. Oh, thank you, thank you very much, the little blue fish bubbled playfully, and he tucked the shiny scale in among his blue ones. A rather peculiar feeling came over the rainbow fish. The little blue fish whizzed through the ocean with his scales flashing, so it didn't take long before the rainbow fish was surrounded by the other fish. Everyone wanted a glittering scale. The rainbow fish shared his scales left and right. And the more he gave away, the more delighted he became. When the water around him filled with glimmering scales, he at last felt at home with the other fish. Finally, the rainbow fish had only one shining scale left. His most prized possessions had been given away, yet he was very happy. Come on, rainbow fish, they called. Come and play with us. Here I come, said the rainbow fish. <laughs> and as happy as a splash, he swam off to join his friends. Fantastic. Thank you for your help this morning, everyone. Would you like to go and sit back down? Okay, so who thinks they know why I chose that story this morning? This is all. Is it because it's all about friendship? It is, which is one of our Christian values. And why do you think that's really important at the moment? Because we can't all see our friends at the moment. Yeah. So we wanted this collective worship to be all about kindness and friendship, and also to be thankful for our friends as well, the ones that we're still seeing in school and the ones at home too. You are all very precious to us. So that's why I chose that story. And I'm holding this really beautiful rainbow poem that somebody sent me um, as their geese take care homework. And it's all about how important rainbows are. It was Jack Mortlock actually, so well done Jack. Thank you for that. And thank you to all of you who've been sending in beautiful geese and rainbow homework. I've really enjoyed it. Let's reflect, take some time to think about these very strange times, to be thankful that some of us are back in school and to be thankful for all of our families and children still at home, working hard and doing amazing things. This is Jordan. We are thankful for all the things in life that we too often take for granted. We are thankful. Please help us to be willing.
willing to show our thanks, not only in what we say, but also in what we do each day. We are thankful. Amen. So that is the Senior Leaders Collective Worship. Stay safe, take care. We miss you and we're thinking of you all. Bye. Ooh,